Soda paste or soda cream is a soft and sticky material at room temperature that is applied on pads in preparation to attaching a component. Think of solder paste as normal solder. While with normal solder you will need a soldering iron to heat it, melt it and apply it on a component pen that is already in place, with solder paste you will first use a syringe or some other kind of application method to cover the pad, then place the component on the pad, then provide heat in the form of an oven to heat the paste and bond it with the pad and the component's plated area. In the photos in this slide, you can see an example of a solder paste in a syringe dispenser that you can purchase from retailers like Aris Components. Using the syringe equipped with a thin nozzle, you can manually deposit a small amount of solder paste on the pads. With tweezers, you can place the component you want to attach on the solder paste. Because solder paste is sticky before it's baked, the component will stick on it. Once you have all the components you want on the board, you can place it in an oven to bake it. And after the baking process is complete, the solder paste will be solid, just like normal solder. The SMT components will be mechanically secure and electrically connected to the pads. Solder paste also comes in tubs, which is more appropriate for application to a board using a stencil, as you can see in the photo in this slide. Stencils are useful in large-scale productions. A stencil is typically made of stainless steel. We cut it so that its opening are of the exact size and the exact location of the pads on the board. The technician will then place the stencil over the board and then apply the paste on the openings. When the stencil is removed, the paste remains on the pads only. Then, either manually or using an automated pick and place machine, the components are placed on the pads and stick on them because of the paste. The last step is to bake the board in a reflow oven in order to solidify the paste. A reflow oven is an industrial sized machine that is used to complete the process of attaching SMD components on a PCB. You can also purchase or make a reflow oven for use at home. People have even made reflow ovens for the projects using discarded toasters. In either case, a reflow oven is designed to operate under a specific program that controls the amount of heat a board receives over time. This is important because we want the heat to be appropriate for the purpose of converting the solder paste into good quality electrical connections, but we don't want to damage the board or the components on it because of the excessive heat or duration of the process. So far, I've mentioned the pick and place machine a few times in this section. Let's move on to the next lecture now, where we can actually talk about it and explain what a pick and place machine is.